Hey guys, so today for my back to school series, I'm going to be doing a um, school organizational tips video. So first of all, what I want to start out with is the bag that you bring to school. Now for bags, you want to have something that's big enough to carry everything you need for school along with a few extra um, items that you may need. What I like to do is find a big enough bag that I can put my coffee mug in when I'm done drinking it. So I can just rinse it out and then just stick it in my bag until I can go to the co my car and shove it in there. Mm. So yeah, if you're a coffee drinker, that's a good tip because you always need to have a place to put your coffee cup because you don't want to be carrying it around all day long, especially if there's nothing in there. Also, also... I got this from Target for a dollar in case you guys are wondering. I think I mentioned it in my school supplies haul video, but in case I didn't, got it from Target. So yeah. So the school bag I like to bring is this cheetah print bag because it's really big and the straps are thick. So they're not going to be hurting your shoulders very, very much. And it just has one of those magnetic and the inside is very big so that's what I like it only has two pockets and a zipper pocket but I mean I find that the less pockets you have the easier it is to find things and you're not going to be like shoving you know stuff that you don't really need to bring to school in there so I recommend a bag like that you can get them on Target for probably like ten dollars I think um, not that specific one because I got this last school year, so yeah. Okay, so what I recommend doing for notes and stuff is having post-it notes. Now, I put my post-it notes in this container and I actually bought mini binder clips that came in this container, but I decided to use it for post-it notes. So the types of post-it notes that I personally recommend you have are these tab ones because you can use these to divide off your um your notes so like if you have like chapter one notes chapter two notes chapter three notes you can just tab it and these are erasable and reusable so that's pretty cool <laughs> so i really highly recommend these also i recommend these um arrow ones because if you want to make, like when you're studying and you know that you have to learn a specific term or you have to know a specific thing, you can just write down like must know on the, f the flag it th itself and then have it pointing to that term or that definition or that diagram or something and you'll know that that's something you really need to know. To know. Um, I use this all the time and it's, they're amazing. Then I just have regular t flags, and I basically use these just to mark um, where my reading is in a book, or if I have a homework assignment where, like, for math, like if I have to do like chapter one, lesson two, and chapter three, lesson one, I can just tab them so I know exactly which pages my homework's on. Now these are kind of different because these are just pretty much regular post-it notes but they're cut down in size um, I kind of use these for when I'm t doing notes and I notice that they're like I do at home book notes and sometimes I'll take them to class and when I do and I notice that there's something that I didn't take down and it's small enough to fit on this it's like if it's just like a little tiny annotation I can just write it on here stick it in my notes and it's there permanently and I just have regular post-it notes for any important things or giving people my phone number for group work or something like that. Just post-its are a good thing to have and they are really helpful when it comes to studying. So I really recommend these. Okay, so next is the pencil pouch. Now get a pencil pouch that's big enough to hold everything you need. Now I carry kind of a lot of stuff in my pencil pouch but I kind of think it's necessary. So the first thing I have 
are two pencils. I always have two pencils with me just in case. And I always have just one rubber um, pencil gripper just because I hate writing like this. Because I write like this and it kind of hurts after a while. So I use a pencil gripper and it doesn't hurt as bad. So I always have two pencils and the pencils I recommend are any pencil that is 0 0.9 lead. Just because it's better. So always have two pencils. And along with the pencil, if I can find it in here, yes I can, always have a white eraser. Because if you notice, on the top of the pencil, it comes with a white eraser. But, you know, that eraser goes by really quickly. So always have one of these for corrections. And then always have extra lead. So... That's important. Okay, now, these aren't necessary to have unless you're me because I'm weird like that. But I love having Sharpie pens. I don't know why. I just love these so much. Especially because they have these colors, pink, blue, and teal. They also have a peach one, but I don't really like that one. But yeah, I really love these ones, and I use them all the time, especially in my um, agenda. But yeah, love these, have to have them. <sighs> so yeah. Then I have my favorite pens. I refuse to use any other pens other than Sharpie pens or these. And these are Papermate Profile pens. So I just have a basic black one for any classwork or in class essays or anything I have to turn in. I have a red pen for correcting and then for I have these three for my classes. So yeah for American Sign Language I think it's purple. Yeah it's purple. Um, this is just basically for notes. These are just basically that's all for notes and anything that I'm not turning in. I use those. And then I have highlighters. And I love the Sharpie accent highlighters that are the bigger ones. So I have, these are the ones I use. It comes with the green one, but I hate what the green one looks like. So, of course, I have the ones in my class colors. I don't use them specifically for that, but yeah. And then the last thing I have in here are binder clips. Just because I'm obsessed with binder clips. I use them all the time and I'll show you how I use them because I'm actually using one in my agenda right now. So you'll be able to see what I use them for specifically. I'm trying to keep this video under 10. Oh, under 15 minutes, but if I can't, I'll just do part two. Okay. So the next thing I recommend is an agenda. I got this one from Barnes and Noble and there's the binder clip I was talking about. Um, I always have post-its right here, just in case I need them, but sometimes I don't even use them. And then the binder clip I use, whoa, my goodness, okay, the binder clip I just use to hold the papers that, or the weeks that have already passed. So here's this week, and here's the tab, and here's the little binder clip that's holding all the previous weeks. So I recommend an agenda because like, I don't know, you're always going to need one. Sorry, I was kind of picking my nose but I had a scratch in my nose and it was an itch in my nose and it was bugging me because I have allergies today. So yeah, recommend an agenda. You can color code it and everything. And I'll actually show you how to color coordinate it. So. That'll be in part two of this video. No, I'll just do it right now. Okay, so I'm just going to find a blank week. Okay, so here's a blank week. So I'm going to use Friday as an example. So Friday, July 27th. Okay, so I'm in class and I have homework to do for each class. Now, there are t a few different ways you can do this. So I'll show you the, the ways that you can do this. If I can get these out of my binder or my 
pencil pouch because I have a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so I do not recommend using pencil on your agenda because that just, it just goes away really fast. Okay, so say for American Sign Language, I have read chapter one. So taking a black pen, I'll write read chapter one, and since it's in black, I don't know what class it's for, so I'm taking my purple highlighter because that's my class color, and I'm just going to highlight it. So now I know it's for American Sign Language. Or I can take my purple pen. Oh, uh, has like a thingy on the front. Oh no, no, it's not gonna work. Really? There it goes. Just give me a second here, folks. Okay, or you can do this and have it like that. You can also use post-its, but in this kind of um, planner, I don't recommend it just because it's kind of small and you're going to run out of space very, very quickly, especially if you go to school five days a week. I only go three days a week, but you know. You know how it is. Uh, I'm going to have to split this video into two. So before this gets too long, um, this is part one. I'm going to record part two. So yeah, keep an eye out for that.